man. Oh, oh, oh my god, these look so fucking good. It's rough. It's really rough. But just bear with it and it's gonna come together. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be finally starting Zoe's new transformation. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into it and show you what we got. So we just received in the mail some new Koenig Heliograms. Before we do anything else, I know you guys wanna see these. We're gonna open these up right now and get them out of the box and see how they look compared to the old wheels. Oh man. I got goosebumps right now seeing these. Man, it is actually unbelievable how easy it is just to pick these up and manhandle them. Even just like grabbing them by one finger. Come look at this. Come look at this. These are about three years old and actually discontinued now. They don't make these anymore. But these were 10 and a half wide with a plus 25 offset. These are plus 18 offset, which is actually gonna shove them towards the fender a little bit and give them a more aggressive stance. And you can also see on the inside of the wheel, it's really close to making contact. So that extra seven or eight millimeters of offset is really gonna make sure that these fit flawlessly under that fender and clear everything that we need. And on top of that, the new wheels, even have knurled beads look at this so guys before we get these wheels on huge thank you to koenig for sending these wheels over i've been running koenig for quite a while now and actually after a few years koenig has quickly become one of my favorite wheel brands so i had to reach out to them again see if they'd be willing to work with me on another set of wheels and here we are with the new matte bronze heliograms <laughs> so with that being said let's go get some tires mounted oh god hopefully i don't fall all right we're good Oh, oh, oh my god, these look so freaking good. And all four of them are the exact same size, so it does not matter what corner they go on. So while we're under here, you can see what I was talking about earlier, where the wheel was actually scraping the, the spindle. So with the new, more aggressive offset, it should give a little bit more room right here compared to the last set of wheels, and we should clear this just fine. Get our titanium lug nuts that we got from Spinny Whoosh. This burnt titanium is gonna look really good on the wheels too. It's all gonna contrast so well. Oh my God, dude, there is already so much more of a very obvious difference in offset. If I do any hard cornering, I'm gonna have to probably roll the fenders and flare them a little bit more. How does it clear the Pro Charger kit? It might still rub a little bit. It's probably gonna rub the, the charge piping. That's the only thing I don't like about the Pro Charger kit. All the piping is right here on the edge of the tire. So they usually make contact, but hopefully they're, uh, they're good. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty race car looking. Can I fit this through there? Probably not. Hell no, that ain't going through there. I'm gonna just set this on top of the car. I don't even care. Race car. The last wheel's on. We're setting the car down for the first time. We finally get to see what it looks like on the new wheels. I'm worried it's not gonna clear the fender. Is it gonna? Oh man, that's really close to the fender. <laughs> That looks way better than it did before though. Fantastico! The bronze was definitely the way to go. Dude, the offset is just beautiful now. That is so much better than it was before. I would have never been able to see the tire before. I guess you want to pull the car out? Go for a drive? Okay. Pulling the car out for the first time. Man, it's been a minute since this thing started. It's a lot more aggressive, but it should clear. Nice. Feels like the wheels are balanced nicely, and it's not driving weird. And with the extra offset, the wheels are actually shoved out just a little bit, which makes it ride a little bit smoother too. What is that? That is a cool car. Acura? Nice. <laughs> We're checking each other out. Eye contact the whole way through. Damn, I was wanting to rev under the bridge. Now you can practice your launching. Oh, well, I can't launch the car in traffic. I, I would get pulled over. Well, whenever you say launch, I think of like, what? Da, 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 wah! But, yeah, that uh, one. oh, yeah. no, I'm not doing that in traffic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so 
So during the first test drive with the new wheels, I have to say, I didn't really hear any rubbing coming from the fender. I may still go through it later and try to flare it a tiny bit more, but over the last few months, I've actually been collecting a few extra parts to transform this thing. So now outside the garage, you can see we have two boxes. This one, honestly, is just all of Zoe's old power steering parts. So if you've been watching for a while, you know we put a Pro Charger on the car, and before that, I had actually taken the power steering pump out of the car to try and squeeze a little extra horsepower and get a little bit more road feel out of the car. But last time I took this car to the track, it was honestly a little bit too fast for not having power steering, and it was really, really sketchy going through those faster turns. So I've just decided that this winter we're gonna go ahead and put power steering back in the car. We also got a new front bumper in the car. So for a front bumper, I was really wanting something durable that would definitely handle some abuse. I actually decided to go with a KBD bumper for this car, and I've honestly been a little skeptical about it. The very first thing you're supposed to do with your bumper is stick it in the sun so that way it can unfold. So we're gonna, we're gonna just leave this thing here for now. So it's the next day, and I actually let the bumper sit outside in the sun for a little bit longer so that way we can get it unfolded because it's actually pretty cold outside. As you can see, there's still a good bit that it's gotta sit in the sun. We got a couple folds to work out but now it is ready to actually put in front of the car and see what it looked like. So I'm gonna just grab it. Thankfully, it's heavy, but it's not that heavy because this is not a fiberglass bumper. It is malleable plastic. You can really just like throw this thing around. I feel bad kind of doing this <laughs> to a bumper, but this one's built for it, which is why I got it. And now you can finally see the picture that we're working with right here. It's rough. It's really rough, but just bear with it and it's gonna come together. So the reason we actually picked out this particular KBD bumper, this one looks very OEM plus in my opinion. And it also has a front lip built into the bumper as well as an inlet for some cold air to go straight through the bumper into the Pro Charger once we move the intake out the way. And I really didn't wanna get a Nismo bumper like every other 350Z on the internet. So obviously the car is blue and the front bumper is not painted. So now I've gotta come up up with a color scheme for the new setup. We got the bronze wheels on the blue car and this looks pretty good, but I'm not 100% attached to the blue. So if you guys have any colors that you think would look good, drop them in the comments below. Let me know what color we should wrap this car. Or if you like the blue, I understand we can keep the blue and I'll figure out what to do with the front bumper. Now that is everything. Drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And now I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>